Welcome back students and others. Let's do the following. Let's create an automated transcript with the Whisper ASR system. ASR stands for Automated Speech Recognition. Whisper is made by OpenAI of ChatGPT fame. I have another video linked to above and below about using Whisper. Let's put in this pipeline though. After we do that, after we get an automated transcript from Whisper, let's put it into software called Elon, which will allow us to do some manual correction. And then after that, we'll export it from Elon um, out to a Pratt text grid, and then we'll import it into Pratt, which is acoustic software to look at stuff there, shall we? So just to review real quick, uh, Whisper is um, software from OpenAI that does automated speech recognition. It's probably the best model right now at the time of recording. I would say it's the best model. Or they have different models, right? Different size models that have different uh, levels of word error rate. The lower the word error rate, the better, right? Anyway, let's jump down to, they have all sorts of different languages as well right there. Let's jump down here. So they have a really simple command line interface, which we'll use. You just call the tool whisper. You pass in the audio file or files. You pass in the model name that you want. Let's zoom back up or scroll back up here. They have different model sizes, right? Uh, and different speeds, those go at different speeds. And you pass in the model. I'll use Turbo as well, I'll pass in the language, and then voila. The default behavior of this command line interface is to create like five files, I think it is, one of which is a TSV file, tab separated values file, that will then import into Elon. So let's first do this, ASR. So let me just play real quick. If I just, op if I just play uh, delete.wave, this is a little conversation with my wife and me. I purposely am interrupting because I, I created this little audio to do source audio separation. Um, so, you know, here it is. Well, uh, it's been kind of lazy. Why? You know, snow outside. Oh, I hate the snow. I like staying in bed. Well, I like hot chocolate. How about you? When, when, when it's snowy outside. Oh, I love snuggling. Snuggling's my favorite. Anyway, there you go. So it's, <laughs> I'm purposely talking over here to create an audio with two speakers talking on top of each other to test um, audio source separation, but in this video, we're just going to look at how well uh, Whisper does, and then we'll push that into Elon. So, all you do is, I'm, let me zoom in quite a bit down here at the bottom part of my screen. I'm just going to call Whisper. The name of the file is delete.wave. The language of that speech I just did is English. You can type out English, or you can just do the two letter abbreviation. Let me remove myself for a second. I'll just do the two-letter abbreviation and then the model, two dashes, model, space, turbo. Let it go. It's going to start working and it should create five files when it's done. I'm curious to know how well it does with the over talking that my wife and I were doing there. Let's go back to teaching mode. There, it's working. It's saying, hey, there's a little warning here. Um, floating point 16 is not supported on CPU. I'm going to use floating point 32 instead. Okay, totally fine. No problem. It'll likely actually transcribe here what it's hearing. There it goes, it transcribed all of it. But the take home message now is if we look at my downloads, let me zoom out a tad bit, we see that it created one, two, three, four files um, from that one delete.wave file that I created. One of which is TSV. That stands for tab separated values. So if you can see that TSV very well, but there it is right there, uh, excuse me, TSV right there. Okay, good. So if we want, we can just open up one of these. Let's just open up uh, delete.txt into the probably a basic text editor. Yeah, there you go. So it transcribed what we said, what it thought we said. Cool. And now we're going to jump back over to our little guide here right here. So we've done that. We just created an automated transcript with Whisper ASR. Now we're going to manually correct it within Elon. So let's look at Elon real quick. Let's look at their website. Their website. Here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. This is from uh, the Max Planck or Planck uh, Institute for Psycholinguistics in the Netherlands. And they have this software called Elon that is an annotation tool uh, for audio and video files. And it is pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna use to um, do some manual correction. So let me open up Elon. 
here it is. This is the blank page. When you first open it up, you'll need to go up to File and then New. On Windows, it may look a little bit different from what I'm doing, but it's the same basic idea. First, I'm going to add my media file, which is the audio file. Delete.wave there. And then I'll say OK. Import it into this view here. And I'm going to scroll. I'm going to come down here with my mouse and make this a little bigger so just so I can see if I grab this. I'm trying to grab. Sorry, I'm trying to make this bigger. There we go. Just simply trying to make this bigger so I can see the audio and the spectrogram. Uh, it's been kind of lazy. There right. we go. Cool. You can change the spectrogram settings if you want. Uh, let me pull over to the window you guys are seeing. So over here, if you want to push up the ceiling to 11025, for example, if that's what you need, if you're working on sibilance, for example, that's an S, obviously. Yeah. Anyway, so there's the audio. We have a spectrogram on top, a waveform on bottom. We have a couple tiers down here on, um, in red. It says default. First thing I want to do is um, import the TSP file from Whisper. So I'm going to come up to File again within this interface and then do Import and then look for CSV slash tab delimited text file, that fifth option on my version of Elon. Look for T, uh, CSV tab, sa, sa, tab delimited text file right there. And then I'm going to grab my delete.tsv file there. I didn't really show you beforehand. Uh, it might be worth our time to real quick look at the TSV file by itself before we import it into Elon. Let me just open it up in whatever it's going to open it up in. Oh, it's going to go to a spreadsheet. I don't really want it to go into a spreadsheet. It's on my other screen. But I guess this is fine. Let's just look at this. So what it does, it gives you three columns. Uh, start, time, the end, timestamp, and then the text. These are milliseconds. These numbers are milliseconds. But it is simply a tab-separated file. And I kind of want to just open up in a basic text editor. If I open it with, um, how about just a good old fashioned basic text editor? Yeah, so you can see it's it's simply, um, it's got start and text, and these are separated by tabs. That's why it's called tab separated values file, or TSV. Okay, so when you ask Elon to import this, go back to Elon, file, import, CSV slash tab delimited text file, and then you find it right there, TSV. And then let me bring it over to this window. And then it says, let me make this a little bigger. It says import this TSV file. And we're gonna say column one is the begin time because it's called start. Column two is the end time. And then column three is the annotation or the text. So we need to change those drop down boxes right there because the first column, again, was the start time, second column is the end time, and the third column is the actual annotation or text. So if I click OK, I don't know if you noticed, but the bottom part of my screen, if I can, can I zoom in a bit on this font size, let's bump this up way bigger, even more than that. Let's go crazy on the font size. Well, maybe that's too big. Let's go maybe 24. OK, so what I'm trying to show is that um, it, it imported the text that Whisper, let me zoom out a tab, actually. Bottom part of my screen, it, here are the tier. We have two tiers now. Um, there's a default tier and a tier O. Tier O is what was imported from Whisper through the TSV file. And if we just click on one of these, um, okay, I'm just trying to highlight. You can highlight it for me, pal. I'm having a hard time just highlighting them. But anyway, if we play, play one of these. You know, snow outside. Oh. OK, so I thought I said, you know, um, there we go. OK, let me zoom in a bit here. Let's actually zoom in. Uh, zoom, let's go to like 200, maybe even a bit more so we can see more at once, maybe 300 here. OK. So. You know snow outside. Let's listen to that. You know snow outside. You know snow outside. Did a good job. It says you know snow outside is what my wife said. And then here, why is it not? Let me slide. You know snow outside. Okay. Oh, I hate the snow. Oh, I hate the snow. Yeah, I said, oh, I hate the snow. I like staying in bed. Anyway, 
It did actually a pretty good job. So what I'm trying to get across here is that you can import this into Elon, and then if you needed to, you could manually correct this. Like if I were to um, come in here, and instead of saying, well, well I like hot chocolate. If I were to say, okay, actually there's, my wife's talking and I'm talking at separate times. So it'd be good actually to create a new tier. Let's do that. So within Elon, I'm gonna go up to tier, the fourth and left menu and add tier. I'm going to create um, one for, I don't know, I guess I'll say Earl. I'll just call it Earl. Add that tier. You can see down there at the bottom left, I just added it. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but I added a new tier called Earl. Let me actually rename. Let me change. Um, let's change tier zero to K and do change and then close. And then, you know, actually I want to get rid of, let me go back up the tier and I'm going to delete the default tier. I don't need default, so I'm going to delete that. I don't really need that tier at this point. And then click close. So I have K for my wife, Earl for me. And if I wanted to, let's see, let me play this part again. Well, I like hot chocolate. Well, I like hot chocolate. So yeah, I say, well, I like hot chocolate. So I need to activate that tier. Or the Earl tier right now, the, the tier that's activated is in pink right there. And I need to activate my tier. So on on Mac, it's command down arrow. On Windows, I assume it would be control down arrow to activate it so that now it's in pink. And if I were to click double click into that space, um, and then that's good. I want to click in here. Okay. Annotation, new annotation here. Yeah. Sorry, annotation, control shift up. I'm the one that said, well, I well, like I hot like chocolate. Okay, and then enter on the keyboard. And then my wife says something else. What did she say? Well, I like hot chocolate. Well, I like hot chocolate. She says snuggling with my, I think she's talking about me. Um, Let's change modify modify the M annotation. Let's click up here. And she says what she say? Why well, like hot chocolate? Why well, like hot chocolate? She says snuggling with my enter. Cool. What's it said over here? I like staying in bed. Okay, that's good. That's her. Oh, I hate the snow. Okay, that's me. So I need to pull this down. Let me get that. Um, oh, I hate snow. Control A, Control X, enter on the keyboard. And then um, I want to put a new annotation right there. There's a keyboard shortcut. If you come up to annotation right there, the first one says new annotation here. It gives a keyboard shortcut for Mac. It's uh, command option and it may be something different for windows i'll let you discover what it says there i'm looking right I'm looking right there on the right side of that menu item cursor blinking control v to paste that in enter to save it so let me let's see what we said oh i hate the snow okay that sounds correct you know snow outside that's my wife why so that was me i said why so i'm going to go ahead and um make a new annotation right in there i'm going to do control Alt, uh, option N, say Y, and then come up here. And she says something else. What'd she say? Let me push enter on the keyboard to get rid of it. Do that. Why? 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 You know, snow. Lazy. Why? It's been kind of lazy. Why? She says, you know, I can't tell you what she says right there, but she doesn't say why. So let me get rid of that. If I can um, just delete this annotation right there. Good. You know, I'm not going to correct the whole thing right here right now, but I just want to show you that you can correct things manually. You can create new tiers, one for one speaker, the other for the other speaker, right? And once you have it all corrected and you're ready to export it, you come up to File and go to Export As. And then there are quite a few options in here. The middle or so option is Pratt Text Grid. See that? Pratt Text Grid right there. I'll click OK. Uh, export K and, and Earl. Good. I'll click OK. And then I'll just save this to the file name delete.txt, or excuse me, um, text grid. 
on my downloads and say, yeah, UTF-8 encoding is great. Who else is using anything but UTF-8 these days, right? Am I right? They should be using UTF-8. And then I'm going to come over to Pratt. So let's just back up, look at our master plan back over here. Okay. So we've just done that. We've manually corrected stuff in Elon. We created a new tier in Elon to separate out one speaker from the other. And then now we're going to import it into uh, Pratt. Pratt is the acoustic software that is used by linguists to study sounds, the most common or most popular, I think, software to study um, sounds by linguists. It's been around for a couple of decades, so the website, you know, is a website from a couple of decades ago. Excuse me. But the software itself is, is um, great software. Still a little bit old school, but awesome software nonetheless. So we're going to import my WAV file as well as my TXT file, or um, my text grid file. Text grid file and WAV file. Good. So I have two things in my objects window up the top left of my screen. <clears throat> right now the delete, the sound delete is highlighted. If I uh, hold shift down on my keyboard and click the other one, so I have both text grid and sound highlighted, then I can look at view and edit. And it should have created the two tiers that I created over in Elon. And sure enough, it did. I have K and E. So you can click in here and play. You know, snow outside. Yeah, and this. Oh, I hate the snow. That's me. I like staying in bed. Oh, I like hot chocolate. My... And I said, oh, I like hot anyway, chocolate. there you have it. So it's not hard to go from an automated transcript, go into Elon to do some manual uh, correction or fixing if you need to, if you like to, including creating new tiers and then push that out to a text grid that can be put into uh, Pratt to do some type of analysis if you want, whatever you want to do, right? Here, here's format analysis and what have you. So there you have it. You can go from Whisper, automated speech uh, recognition software, use the TSP file that it creates, put it into Elon, do some manual correction and, and crap perhaps make new tiers, and then push that out to a Pratt text grid. Take that into Pratt, do something here. There you go, little pipeline with, uh, starting with automated speech recognition all the way down to acoustic analysis in Pratt. Thanks for watching, see you next time.